Hi friends, I hope you are doing good. So let's continue with our problem solving sessions. Now you would have seen this kind of problems uh, wherein you have to simplify 2x plus 5 plus 3 and 2x plus 5y plus 4. So there are two product terms. So there are two factors basically and you have to find out the product. Now one way is you know that you can, you can do this expansion. What expansion? You can start with 2x times 2x plus 5y plus 4 plus 5y times 2x plus 5y plus 4 and then finally plus 3 times 2x plus 5y plus 4. This is a usual method then you know this is a usual algebraic expansion if you see but then it will take a lot of time isn't it? Isn't it? So can we reduce reduce this you know or simplify this process hence you know, uh, let us try to let us try to find another method by which our efforts are reduced. So mathematics, friends, is always you know about finding out trends and patterns. If you see the pattern here, there is two x plus five y and two x plus five y here as well. So there are two x plus five y in both the terms. So let me just say let a be equal to two x plus five y. Okay. So what will happen? If you now see these two factors, these are a plus 3 and a plus 4, isn't it? Now this looks familiar because we have learned an identity wherein, and let me just now throw some light on the identity which we have learned. So x plus a times x plus b, this is the algebraic identity we have learned. And this is nothing but, if you, if you know, this is nothing but x square plus a plus b times x plus a b this is what we have learned now here clearly instead of x we have a here isn't it this is a this is a this is instead of x and instead of you know this a we have 3 and here b is 4 so hence using the same identity we can say this is nothing but a squared plus 3 plus 4 times x sorry not x here it is a so hence I have to write a and plus 3 into 4. That means this is a square plus 7a plus 12. a square plus 7a plus 12. So it's uh, you know while solving it's also a good practice to keep uh, in mind the kind of expressions you are getting. So in, in later chapters you will see that this particular expression will be given and you will be asked to factorize it. See, so I'm not asking you to mug it up, but then keep these things in mind. So what expressions are you getting by, um, you know, uh, let's say multiplying two factors so that when if you get a problem where you have to factorize the given expression, then it becomes easier for you, right? Now we know already, already what is a, so let us substitute that. So 2x plus 5y, this goes for square and then 7 times 2x plus 5y and then plus 12 right now this is much easier if you see this is again we can use an identity for the first term which one you can you would have guessed it by now so a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square so hence here it will be nothing but 2x whole squared plus 2 times 2x times 5y now these dots are not decimals these are for multiplication and then 5y whole squared isn't it then what 7 times 2x is 14x plus 35y and then plus 12 so hence this is nothing but 4x squared 2 into 2 2 square is 4 and x square is x square and then here if you simplify the second term you'll get 4 into 5 20xy and this is 25 y square, isn't it? Then what? 14x plus 35y plus 12. So this is my final answer. Because there are no like terms, so I can't really simplify it further. So hence the answer is 4x square plus 20xy plus 25y square plus 14x plus 35y plus 12. So this is how you have to use identity algebraic identities to simplify the given expression it has been given that x plus 1 by x is 6 
So this is given and the base is this. You have to find out x square plus 1 plus x square. x square plus 1 by x square and x to the power 4 plus 1 by x to the power 4. So again, uh, please keep this um, thing in mind that whenever you see such kind of a expression. So if you see, you know, uh, some linear term is here and you are expected to find out the square value. So one thing which should come to your head is algebraic identity. So if you see x plus 1 by x is 6, isn't it? Now I know, can I square both sides? So I'm writing squaring, squaring both sides, squaring both sides. Only then I can expect an x square on the left hand side, isn't it? So hence it will be x plus 1 by x whole square is equal to 6 squared. So now if you see this is again can this can be expanded using an identity which is a plus b whole square is a square plus twice a b plus b square. Let us use this. So if you see this will become x square plus 2 times x times 1 upon x and plus 1 upon x whole squared is equal to 36. Now here is the catch guys this 2 times x times 1 by x will get reduced to 2 only isn't it so hence this particular problem becomes interesting so if you see it is nothing but x squared plus this 1 upon x whole square can be written as 1 square by x square so hence simply 1 by x square isn't it plus 2 why because if you see this x and this x gets cancelled out if x is not equal to 0 so this x and this x gets cancelled out this one because x is not equal to 0 so hence so after cancelling out you can see this is x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 is equal to 36 this implies if i take this 2 on the other hand other side sorry you will get 36 minus 2 which is 34 right so what do i get x square plus 1 x square is 34 now the second part of the question says talks about x to the power 4 so clearly if i i need power 4 here so how to get it again you square the term square the expression you will get it isn't it so let us say x square plus 1 by x squared now i'm squaring this is equal to 34 squared okay now this is nothing but x again you use the a plus b whole square identity you will get x to the power square to to power 2 plus 2 times x square times 1 upon x square plus 1 upon x squared whole squared is equal to 34 square. Now 34 square guys is 1156. Okay. Now if you simplify this further, you'll get x to the power 4 plus 2 plus 1 upon x to the power 4. And this is equal to 1156. So that means x to the power 4 plus 1 by x to the power 4 will be 1156 minus 2 which is equal to 1154. So this would be the answer.